So in this video, I wanted to teach you a new design style. Over the weekend, I tried one. It's called Geometric Line Art. And I made a t-shirt that looks like this that I shared on Instagram. And I wanted to share with you how I did it. I'm gonna take you step by step on how I did it on Affinity Designer. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005, and my channel is all about helping you to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you're interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So in this video, I'm doing something a little bit different. I usually design stuff in the kawaii style. You've probably seen this, you know, cute dog right here, and then these on my, um, website so that's usually my go-to style but this weekend i wanted to try something a little bit different i've been seeing this style around uh, on instagram and on the internet and i wanted to try it out and that is the geometric line art style so basically using shapes and lines to make your artwork and this can be um, any kind of artwork it can be abstract it can be animals it can be outdoor stuff it could be buildings whatever it is uh, I'm gonna show you some examples online we're just gonna google it and see that and then after that I'm gonna go into affinity designer and take you step by step on how I made my design uh, this is the one right here I'll show it again on the t-shirt so uh, you're gonna want to stay till the end to see all the steps and do the see the final product and how I got there. It's a really fun video, and if you have Affinity Designer, you can follow step by step. If you are using Illustrator or something like that, you could probably follow along because all I'm using are gonna be shapes and lines. So it's as easy as that using the pen tool and the shape tool. So let's start by going to Google and look at some examples so you can brainstorm and get some ideas on what you might want to do with the geometric line art style. So before we get into Affinity Designer, I wanted to show you here geometric line art style on Google. I, I'm not showing my face just so that you can see all the examples here when we search on Google. Just type it in and hit search. And you can see a lot of times this is just very abstract. So there's like shapes here, you know, that don't mean that it's not a mountain. It's not, it's just abstract shapes, right? Sometimes it is a uh, animal, in this case, the deer up here I'm showing. Um, there are mountains, people do mountains, like what I'm gonna show here with the sun. Here's mountains again, um, but it can be anything, right? What we're doing is we're using lines and shapes. So mostly, um, polygons right um, you've seen these before and then shading in the polygons is one way to do it so just think of just nice line art so if we scroll down here we can see so many cool examples the internet is full of them uh, let's take a look at something that's just a little bit more complex uh, like this one right here so 30 vector line art take a look at this using lines to draw a scenery right and you can see more things out here. So you can you can make it really simple by just doing you know triangles and rectangles, but you could take this to a next level and do like scenery and stuff. Let's just click on here and see where this goes. 30 vector line art illustrations. Like take a look at these. This is like next level line art stuff. I'm not gonna do something uh, this complex, but you can see you can take it to this kind of level. Just amazing artwork, right? So um, just wanted to show you real quick. We're going to go into Affinity Designer and I'll show you step by step on how I did my uh, mountains and line art. All right, so here we are in Affinity Designer. The first thing we're going to do is mountains. But um, before that, I just drew this line right here uh, using the pen tool. You can just click here and hold down shift and click anywhere you want. And then make sure that this stroke is the same size we're gonna to go to the stroke palette here. Um, I'm using, you can use whatever size you want, but you're gonna to wanna to use the same stroke size for the whole thing, right? So in this case, I believe I'm using 3.5, let me check, yep, 3.5. And then I'm using the round cap right here. So you can see if I hover over round cap, uh, join, round join and align in the middle, align stroke to center. So first that's it just that's the horizon right there and the next thing we want to do is draw the mountain so that's really easy we're just going to take our pen tool and we're going to just draw some triangles so we just hit up like that and down and go up here and down here and you can do whatever you want like that 
And after you're done, if that's not the right angle you want, you can move these, right? Let's just move the move this to the edge, whatever we want, right? And then you can get fancy. You don't have to be a perfect triangle. It can be up and down. This one can be lower, whatever it is. And then we want to draw two another one. So let me show you here. Um, I'm going to do it just a little bit different. I'm going to go up here and do just to the middle here and go down. So you can see here this very abstract looking mountains, right? And again, like I said, you can move these around. It doesn't have to be even. Whoops. We do want it. We want the angles though. So don't, don't do any curved lines, at least not for this, this mountain. I mean, you could, but in mine, I'm not doing that. So make sure that, make sure we don't uh, click on those curves. You don't want to click here and move this thing like that and just keep it straight. And you know, I'm kind of doing this lower, middle, high, and then back down kind of to give it some variety, right? And that's it. That's, that's basically drawing the mountains right there. So uh, the next thing we want to do is kind of flip them. So let's grab all the mountains, not this. And this is where I'm going to teach you a new trick on here. So we're going to copy, drag it, option shift, right? So option shift and drag. And then we're going to do this right here called flip vertical. So we're flipping it on the um, horizon, right? So you can see that's a mirror version of what we just had right here to give that illusion. So that's where we're at. And if you want to just stop here, this is really easy. We got to this spot, but we're going to do even more. So we're going to add another layer onto it. So the next thing we're going to do is kind of draw some of that geometric shapes. So here's the next step. I'm calling it triangles because those shapes that you're going to put in here are going to look like triangles. But first, let's make a little bit. Let's make the bottom reflection a little bit different. You notice I changed this up a little bit. Uh, I kind of move the triangles a little closer and you can do that too. Just, you know, we had it out here and then just moved it in here, that kind of thing and made these smaller. So just to give it some more interest, I changed it a little bit. So you can see it's still a reflection, but what I want to do is make these triangles on the bottom so we can fill them in later. So I'm going to move these lines and it's as simple as moving it there. Take this one, move it here. Uh, you know, take this one, move it there. We got that triangle. Let's see, how about we do this? So we're just trying to fill in, you know, make some triangles on the bottom here. Maybe some are in front, some are in back. You know, we could do something like, well, you know what, let's do this. Make the little ones triangles in the front. And this kind of gives it the illusion of these sm small ones are in the front and these bigger ones are in the back, right? So you can see that. We're just going to leave these because we're going to use these lines as the triangle line. So let me zoom in here. Um, I'm going to hit option and scroll so you can see. So what we want to do is just create some triangles and we're just going to use the pen tool. So taking your pen tool and going like this and you can see there's a triangle. Um, this needs a triangle so we could just chop it like that. So there, there you are, three triangles. There's a triangle here. Um, we can make a triangle here and you can make it any shape. I mean, any triangle shape, right? If you want to do this and go there and you, you can come back and then fix that line so it doesn't go out. So kind of move it in. So come up here. Let's say I want to do a triangle from this point to this point, right? You see that triangle there. So this needs to be a triangle. Let's see, we could, we could do this right there. And those two are triangles. So that, that counts. You can make big triangles and small triangles. It's all free form and then you come back and um, put it together. So let's say triangle here, that would be cool. You know, just eyeballing it, just have fun with it. Do that. There's a big triangle. We may want to cut that in half, right? So I'm just going to do this, start making some triangle shapes, have fun with it. And then we're going to come back and then do something else. So you get the idea. You can see bigger triangles, smaller triangles, kind of giving that geometric shape. So I just finished doing the geometric triangles at the top. And the next thing I want to show you how to do is diagonal lines on the bottom here. So it's another trick that you can do for any of these line art things, these geometric line art designs. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it better, uh, hitting option and scrolling. And this is what you want to do. So just use the pen tool and kind of click here and click there. 
and then I'm gonna use the node tool just to make sure it's the same angle as this one right here. You see that? So just eyeball it. It can be whatever. Just make sure that space is kind of the same. And the next thing I'm gonna do is click on it and hold down Option and Shift and kind of just drag it like that until it's about the same. You see that right there? How it's the same? And then I'm gonna hit J. So J, remember, is duplicate, but it duplicates the last thing that you did. So not only the line, but how far it is. So if I hit J, you can see it just does it evenly spaced, right? So perfect. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is chop these. So what I like to do is use the node tool right here and then just click where the line intersects. So you can see right there, I can click on this one where the line intersects right there, this one and this one right there. And the reason I'm doing that is now you can just delete these line, these points. So if you delete that and do that, look at that, really clean, right? And so all of these are even like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing for all of these triangle mountains. They're gonna do just a little bit different angle because you can see this angle is different than that angle, which is different than those angles. So I'm gonna go in, do the same process here, and I'll be right back to show you the result. So you can see it's starting to take some shape now. I got the two mountains, the top one and the bottom one. This is to represent the day and this is to represent the night. So I'm gonna put in a sun and a moon. And I'm gonna do the sun super simple. Uh, you could put rays on it, but all I'm gonna do is use the circle tool right here or the lips tool, it's called. Holding down shift to make a perfect circle and just draw it. And make sure your fill is none. So right here, it's got that white. I'm just gonna say fill none right there. And that's gonna be my sun, I'm gonna put it right there. And then for the moon, I'm just gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna copy this circle, option, shift, and drag. And then I'm gonna copy this circle again, option, shift, drag, and you can see I can do it like that, but I wanna make just a little bit smaller right there. And then having these two together, I'm gonna minus the top one from the bottom one, okay? And so I'm selecting both of these, and then I'm gonna do this right here, it's called subtract. You can see right there, and when I hit subtract, it's just gonna make the moon shape, super easy, right? And I'm gonna put the moon right here. You can tilt it if you want, and just click on this and kinda of drag it around and do that. So uh, that was real easy way to do the sun and the moon. Some people like to put the rays on the sun, and what I would do there if you wanted to do that is just you know, do some lines like this. And, and that would give you some rays and do it all the way around. But we're not gonna do it. I'm gonna make it super simple and leave those out. So that is the sun and the moon. So the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to do the clouds. So now that you got your sun and your moon right here, super easy. So I'm just gonna draw the clouds with the pen tool. So click on your pen tool here and just click here and hold down shift to make a straight line and we're gonna just do two bumps. So click about right here and drag, and right here, and then right up here and drag and down. And now you can go and fix it. So let's go in, uh, zoom in a little bit here. You can see it's kind of getting that funky line. So let's move things around like this. You know, you can, you can move these in, these lines. Just eyeball it that this can be down whoops this can be down just a little bit eyeball it uh, you can hold down option and just move one of them you can see that holding down option makes it independent so if I want to make this closer and make this one wider you can just do like that And you're just looking to make a small bump here and a bigger bump here. That's all you need. So you can hold down option, like I said, and move that out. Hold down option and move this in. And when you find the right one, you can stop. And we're gonna stop right there. And that kind of looks like a cloud. And you can move it up here. Hold down option and drag and do two more. Maybe flip this one around, you can use this you know, flip horizontal and do something like that. So that's how easy it is to do the clouds. 
So the next step I want to show you how to do is the diamond stars. So we we did the clouds recently. You can see here that I changed it just a little bit to make it a little smaller, but uh, kind of the same idea. You can make your clouds whatever size you want. So the next thing, diamond stars, we're going to use this square tool right here, rectangle tool. So let's hold down shift and drag it just to be about that size right there. I'm going to zoom in so you can see uh, exactly what I'm doing here. So clicking here and then zoom in option and scroll right there. So here's our square and you can see here we have this thing in Affinity Designer called corner and by default it's that straight corner but you have all these options rounded, straight, concave and cut out. So I'm going to use concave Let's just click on that. You can see it's almost that diamond shape. It just needs to be a little bit more. And the way to change that is this right here. It's at 25% by default. But if we put it all the way till 50, maybe even 60, uh, I think 50 will do right there, 50. And there's our diamond shape. If we want to make it bigger, we can hold down shift, you know, or smaller if we want to either way. So let's zoom back out. And now we can place these stars anywhere in the sky on our fake sky on the bottom here, our night sky, holding down option and shift and drag, option, shift, drag, and just put it anywhere like that. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is draw some dots and some lines, and I'll show you how to do that real simple. All right, so this is really coming together now. You can see the uh, sunny sky on the top, the night sky on the bottom. We're just going to add another layer. So that's what this is about, just adding more and more layers to it. It just gives it more interest, right? So the first thing, I'm going to do dots for stars too. We already have these big stars, but let's make the little stars dots. And I'm just using the circle tool or ellipse tool right here. And I'm just going to make a small dot like that. And the difference between these and the other ones is this isn't going to be a line. This is going to be a fill. So you can see here black. If we click out of here, you can see this one's kind of small, maybe it's just a little bit bigger, hold down shift. Yeah, that's fine. So same thing, we can hold down option. Uh, I'm just holding down option and drag, option, drag, option, drag, right there, right? It can be anywhere. And then the lines, let's go back to that 3.5 line. And this is kind of just doing it, giving it some interest again. I kind of thinking about this as reflections in the water and this is just the water reflection. I know that's kind of abstract thinking because you know, first we're saying it's the night sky, now we're saying it's the water, but um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So we're gonna do here and just drag it like this and make it smaller. Or we can you know, drag this line and put it over here or drag this line and put it over here. Maybe we can move stuff around. So that's all we need to do. You can make lines that are shorter or lines that are longer. Maybe this one in the middle here and this one's longer like that. Or maybe this one has a short version in the front, you know, like that. Whatever you wanna do, just have fun with it. Um, just stagger it and you know, maybe maybe there's another one right over here, something like that. So play around with that, make it your own, have fun. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is to color it white because we're going to put it on a black t-shirt. So you're going to want to reverse everything on here. So the last thing you want to do here, now that we got our shape, this is exactly what I did right here. You can see the clouds, the sun, the geometric mountains and everything. Um, and we could put this on a white t-shirt and that would be fine or a white poster or whatever you want to do. But if we want to put it on black, we're going to have to change these lines to white. And there's a real easy way to do that. I'm going to show you right here. So the first thing I want to do is put a background so that I can change it to white and we can see it because you can't see white on a white background. So let's just, uh, let's not do a black background though. Let's just do a dark gray. So you can see a, a no stroke and dark gray just kind of do that. And now that we got that dark gray background, let's put it all the way to the back, clicking on here, move to back. And then we want to select all of these, but not the circles. First, let's click on the dots and each one, but hold down shift so you can do this and that and that. Only We only have four dots and let's group those and make those white since we got to make those white anyway, like that. 
and let's move that to the front and then select everything else but the dots and then we can you can see that stroke is black and we just color that stroke white or whatever color we want but in this case white and there you go that's it and then we can make this black like that and that's the design so you can save this you know like this if you want to do it as a poster but if you're going to do it on a black t-shirt you're going to want to export just that part right which you can't see so that's how you do it let me go back here so white on black this is the final thing uh, hopefully you've learned some some new tricks in here we talked about how to make these geometric shapes with the triangles uh, I showed you how to duplicate these lines, these diagonal lines. You can use that in your design. I showed you how to make these diamond shapes really easy, right? With the corner thing. Let's see what else. Uh, and, and draw your own clouds and things. Oh, and make this moon. That was really easy. Just subtract, right? So hopefully you can use some of these techniques and make your own version of your geometric shapes and designs. It doesn't have to be a mountain. You can experiment with different things, animals, or just abstract shapes and then put them on t-shirts and and other things i think these would do really well on posters too if you like create a series it could be really really cool on posters for a red bubble so have fun with this one hopefully this was really helpful for you let me know in the comments if it was so that is it for this video this geometric line art video hopefully it was really helpful for you and gave you some value if it was make sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps in the algorithm and if you're not subscribed to this channel already make sure to hit that subscribe button i got one right there so before i leave i wanted to end with a question of the day and the question of the day is this what other design style would you like to learn how to do uh, this one's the geometric line art style i have the kawaii stuff like this stuff right here um, there's so many different design art styles if you want to learn how to do one make sure to leave me a comment of which one you want to learn and if you want to see other videos like this on how to design stuff on t-shirts or for different trends make sure to click on these videos right here and as always guys keep creating and keep learning i'll see you on the next one bye